What's up, Power Family? Welcome back to another episode of Control. All right, so <laughs> last time when we left off, uh, we whew, we were uh, trying to find the slide projector, but then it somehow we had to go all back to the research facility. So instead, we went to go do another side thing that we kind of got. Which I come to find out is actually the second DLC of the game, uh, which took us to the investigation, the investigative uh, sector, which something had to do with Alan Wake. So we're going to continue on from there, uh, figure out what's going on here. Uh, it's kind of a big, big place. Uh, so. It's not too bad, I guess. Just gonna have a lot of investigating and a lot of looking around and stuff since this is a whole new sector. But at least this is all there is to this sector, so. Yeah. Um. I guess what we're gonna do is just go ahead and continue on and. Well, see what's in store. See what we can really figure out with this Alan Wake stuff that's going on. This is the top of the stairs that we uh, had to walk around to from and this is the operation center uh. the third thing the sound made darker the darkness made louder Hartman was stretched like a worm through time the third thing was a monster now we crashed out of darkness toward fate Why? Uh, okay, so we have a new hotline. I don't like it's trying to, I guess. Trying to uh, kill us. The resonance carves its way through thin air compartment, vibrating, remolding. The sound changes the darkness, and the darkness changes the sound. They both changed what remained of Harvin. They all turned into something else. A third thing. The sound made darker. The darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched. Stretched as anyone when seen from out of time, like a worm through time. Almost an Ouroboros, a spiral, a maelstrom. The gravity well of a black hole twisting inward, tightening. Taking you deeper and deeper to the bottom, the heart, and through to the other side. The third thing said, when you hear this, you will know you're a new you. He said, we build you till nothing remains. He said, under the conceptual reality behind this reality, you must want these ways to drag you away. He said, baby, 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 yeah, orange peel. The third thing was a monster. He'd tear apart any ordinary person crossing his path. Now we crashed out of darkness toward Faden. There was nothing ordinary about Faden. Interesting. We need a what was that? Yeah, a light source. light source go. Uh, Alright, let's grab you a light source somewhere in here.
Matter of fact, I go down, downstairs, I'll find some kind of light source. Baby. Baby, yeah, orange peel. What the hell? Ooh. Oh, what's this? Reminder All employees are required to report their hours at the end of each month. The Federal Bureau of Control maintains that time is not subjective, and hours passed on alternative planes cannot be claimed. Astral dives do not accumulate overtime compensation. Thank you for your attention. Okay. So dark. Ah, oh, interrogation complaint. Kirkland, so you put me on desk duty just because I did the thing I was fucking hired to do. My job. What? What to know what it, I call that? Bullshit. Asking us to engage, interrogate these scum without using words like altered items or AWEs or per criminal is the stupidest thing I've heard in my life. And I've heard some fucking stupid things in my time, you know. Uh, they already know the facts, hell. They already know just as much as us, if not more. And they got to sit there laughing at us while we dance around our words. Trying not to leak classified technology. They already know the fucking technology. If you think pulling me off the case would stop me, then think again. That piece of shit blew up those tracks. He killed those people. All to make a train during altered. We have him dead to rights, and you need to let me back in that interrogation cell so I can get him to flip on his buddies. These people are terrorists and deserve to be treated as such. This won't stop unless we stop them. You can go ahead and put me on suspensions. See if that slows me down. Agent Hewitt. Uh-huh. Mr. Agent to it. Black market. Uh, black market hub specializing in the trade of occult talisman relics and other assorted criminal ceremonial objects as well. Genuine altered and fair natural materials uh, were rated in blank. Subjects were public by a team of special investigators and successful attempts by suspects to escape using altered items resulted in numerous casualties and prevented the Bureau from questioning all participants. The following interrogations revealed that not only is there a vast network of these retailers, but that they seem to be gathering information on altered items and other paranormal materials from sources unknown to the Bureau. The Bureau's concern here is threefold. There is a growing underground market for paranormal materials, which implies a growing awareness of their existence among a niche group of the general public. These criminal individuals do not seem aware of the items, paranormal powers, and their attempts to activate them could prove devastating if done in, in populated areas. The motivations of these collectors are largely unknown. Refer to file 5120221 for full report. Interesting. What the hell is that? Following the NASA FEC coordination agreement in 1972, the Bureau was provided NASA with numerous technology advancements based on our research, including the Black Rock. Mining now found in all spacefaring vessels and return all data gathered during space missions is made available for Bureau researchers to analyze. Recently, certain individuals have raised the concern that this relationship does not adequately benefit the Bureau either in intellectually or financially uh, through examination of the costs occurred by both organizations has shown that the expense of NASA's launch 
A recent launch of the blank far outweighs any spending related to the processing and delivery of black rock from its medium earth orbit. The blank will provide the brewer with an unparalleled resource for remotely monitoring and photographing AWE sites, a resource that could be lost if the partnership ends. It is the opinion of this community that maintaining a cooperative relationship with our colleagues at NASA is of vital importance. Refer to file 3 Eight one four eight one two for four report. NASA. So yeah, that's why you don't trust NASA. NASA's always into some sort of shady shit. Active investigations. I think that's where I actually got to go to. What? Lads of here have died standing up. I cursed you. Darkness everywhere. New day, same old bloody season. Keystone. They like cities from all around the world, I think. Interesting. Doesn't light up the rest of the area? Just that? Well, at least thank God that it burned away. The no sign fell off. Alright. The Eagle Limited. A train derailment resulted in 62 casualties and numerous injuries was suspected to have been the work of a paracriminal group known as Plank. As a result of this event, the agents discovered that one of the cars had become altered with a persistent auditory event. It remains to be determined whether the AWE was spontaneous or the director sold the sabotage. In response, the Brewer had been tracking such group at the time in the initial gathering. Suggested an event of this caliber was in imminent. And Bloomington, as a result, the response team on the site was able to respond to the train accident site within minutes of its occurrence. They arrived to find emergency processes underway, but also equipment left behind by the suspected group. A suspicious onlooker managed to elude agents after they attempted to make contact. Further investigation of the accident site revealed a curious, curi curiously undamaged train car that exhibited an altered state when entered. This individual car was secured and transported to the investigation sector for further studies. So you, you're saying the train is here somewhere? Uh, okay. The shadow. 
Paranatural Entity A010, aka the Shadow, is an aggressive blank system of three known types. Type A. Localized manifestation of sentient blank, capable of occupying organic and inorganic material, as well as exhorting blank over its surroundings. Type B. Shaded individual, human bodies by the Shadow. These individuals become notably more aggressive, but do seem to retain blank of their previous selves. Research is ongoing as to whether this condition is reversible. Type C. Sh shaded objects, similar to Type B, except that in and out of objects of blank solely to be used as destructive tools. Ooh. Each type seems to work towards a shared goal, possibly targeting certain individuals, see AWE-35, which may imply a shared link to a blank intelligence. The threat of this entity poses warrants immediate exploration of offensive to defensive measures. The investigation sector is being outfitted with additional lighting sources, some internally powered to prepare for the event eventuality of the blank. Refer to file 6341923444 report. Uh-huh. My understanding of the darkness is fragmented, incomplete. This abyss, this void, it very much does not wish to be understood. If light symbolizes knowledge, then it stands to reason that darkness would equate to ignorance. By its very nature, it abhors comprehension. Of course, my own nature drives me to comprehend all. We are opposing forces, destined to collide. And given this conflict of natures, we know that the light of truth will burn away the darkness, both figuratively and literally. Any significant light source can be used as protection even weaponry against this metaphysical gloom. And then there are the artists. I know for a fact that Tom, Wake, the Anderson brothers, and Lane all had some involvement with the darkness. The question is whether their uncanny ability to affect reality through their art beckons the darkness, or did their work perhaps even create it? With Wake now secure in my lodge, I expect I shall grow closer to learning the answers to these questions. Assuming he cooperates, which is proving quite the challenge. Well, perseverance is the foundation of knowledge. Speaking of, I must be off on my rounds. Tom Wake, huh? Is that like Alan Wake's brother, father? I mean, are they related? I need my, I need the thing. Mm -hmm. And let there be light, I guess. See there. I can see everything. Oh, those two of these suckers out there. You can't get me. You fool. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, hey. Where are you at? Holy shit. 
Who's shooting me? Jesus. All right. So there's that. Oh, that's where I picked up all that. At. at least I can see everything now. Let's see if I missed anything here. Uh, I think the only thing I really did miss was this, because I saw this, but I didn't know. Results are varying at best, but mostly just inconclusive and unusable. The footage is corrupted. Sometimes even the equipment is bad. So I don't know how exactly. I, uh, I think this place is making fun of me. That's the only explanation. I, I can hear them laughing and screaming behind the closed doors. I can hear the call bell going ding multiple times a day, but when I look, there's no one there. I know I'm supposed to stay out of sight, but I've seen the doors closing just before I can catch even a glimpse of anyone or anything. They're messing with me, whoever they are. I think... Wait, shh. There's something. I gotta get this. I gotta get the cable out. Come on, you fiber optic fuck. Cooperate. Okay, there we go. This time, or I swear to God, I'm... What? Hello? Who's there? Oh, shit. I'm with the FBC. Move away from the door. I have a... Where's my... That it? <laughs> I think you're dead, dude. All right, so we got Sterling, Rocky Mount, Virginia, Colorado, Sterling, Colorado, Ballad, Bright, Bright Falls. Oh, it's, I think where Alan Wake was. Uh, New York. Ordinary. Those bright falls and then ordinary. Keystone. Lanes are... This must be all the ones that they had to investigate. Pemberton. Because, uh... I think Sterling is the also the one that's over in the, the place with the Sterling AWE. Well, at least now I can go in that room. Someone's watching me on the cameras, huh? Very intriguing. Not gonna lie. Uh, just want to double check to make sure there's nothing else that I completely missed. 
in this room. It doesn't look like it, so I think we're good to move along. Uh, let's see here. We have other missions here. Uh, shine light on the plants. Nourish the plants. Clear the mold. And burn the darkness. Uh-huh. Interesting. Uh, so... That's not what I wanted you to do. Right, stop it. Separation Center. Uh, so, if I would go to this and I hit it it's in the operations corridor okay in the abandoned offices and all and operations corridor huh hmm. and then there's some over there in that one so I guess I can go so I guess I can hit this bad boy. Hey, check that out. You just fell. The lighthouse. Do that. All right. Uh. The hell? I do. Oh. Just upgrade. I don't care about that. Uh, so let's let's go back to the banded offices and see if I can find these plants that I need to shine light on. Got to shine light on some plants. All right. Oh yeah. What the hell is that? What plants am I have to shine light on? I don't... I don't even see any plants. What plants do I need to shine the light on? Alright, I'll be back with you when I figure out what kind of plants I need to be shining lights on. This whole place is lit up, so I don't understand.
I don't get what kind of plants I need to be shining like, because this is the only plants I see. There's already light shined on him. So that's the plan that they're talking about. There you go. Doesn't that feel better? Kind of makes no sense because uh, the lights, there is lights on in this place, but okay, sure. Right. Or a flood ship boat, I guess, right? Welcome back to the land of the living, little buddy. Oh, there's another plant. Somewhere. What in the hell? Just trying to find... Jesus. Uh, I don't care about rural alerts. I'm just trying to find another plant. 
I mean, this is the only other plant that I see, but... Apparently there's one more... plant somewhere. And I don't know where. Where's the other plant? Mm hmm. Interesting. Is it up here? Am I just dumb? I don't see anything, so... I think I've looked about every other place here. I've literally looked everywhere in this place. I have not seen a single other plant. Ah, I've just gone too far away. Oh, come on. I don't know where it's at. I'll have to come back later for it.
<laughs> I need a light. I threw it down. Should have threw it up. I don't know why I didn't. So I have to go back and get my light source. So I threw it down here. Damn it. Come on.
Jeez. All right. So I don't know where this last plant is at. Thought maybe that would be it, but apparently it's not, so we're gonna have to move along here. Unless it isn't here. Really? This whole time? Alright. That's all the plants in here. I eventually oh AWE loading bay that's I wonder if that's where the train is at probably is is that a plant Feels like that should be the plant. Why not? Uh, this is one. And this is another. But that last one is right there. The last one is an AWE loading bay, which fortunately is way over there, so we're gonna not, can't do anything else on that. So let's see where the mold areas are at. I'm not going back to the abandoned offices right now. I gotta go back there eventually to leave this place most likely, so. And then the darkness is over there. Uh, all right. Uh, I think, I think we're just not gonna worry about those si extra missions until after, uh, we probably investigate everywhere down here. Cause uh kinda sucks, man. Alright. So alright. Let's let's go into this active investigations room. Uh, I don't feel right. The fuck? Something in this darkness is draining me. Active investigations. That's where I gotta go. Oh, it really is draining me. Oh no. What is that noise? Can't see nothing. Looks like there's Uh, let's see, vending machine. 
None, te none, none. Testing in the investigation sector is currently ongoing. A vending machine is its front covered in a foxwood panel. Coin operated buttons for selecting food products. The item generates and stores a variety of material, both edible and otherwise. In its rows of internal trays, initial testing suggests the item reacts to the mind of the individual in closest proximity and will produce rather. Whatever they subconsciously desire attempts to cause the item to create a living. Blank half constantly failed. The item was discovered in a nursing home in Blank, Alberta, after a resident named Muriel Blank called a local news station about a magic in a machine. The news story reported that the nursing home staff was supposedly stuck in the machine with the distant food and objects as a way to raise resident spirits. The brewery response team encouraged the story, encouraged the story while confiscating the item. All right, cool. But, uh, I need to know where things are at. And I don't like being drained. Uh, I go up the stairs, maybe? What's up here? No, this screen paper is found after the Bureau acquired the Night Springs television series and all its past episode scripts. It appears to be written by Alan Wake as part of an application to become one of the show's writers. Night Springs episode over the threshold, darkly, by Alan Wake. Host voiceover. It is only human nature to wish to control the forces around us, and even more so to possess them. But what happens when those forces are not ours to claim, or even of this world? What if they are the things you can discover in Night Springs? In enter Secret Lab at night. We are in a secret lab. The large sign on the wall reads the Federal Bureau of Night Springs. Scientist. Well, I've told you several times, Director. It isn't ready. Director. It's ready when I say it's ready, Doctor. But the beam beyond the portal, we have no control over it. Hey, I wanna know more. <laughs> oh shit. No. that <laughs> Dr. Amir Hartman is an academic psychotherapist that owned and operated a recovery center in blank focus on the treatment of artists suggestion with creative blocks and other mental disorders. Publicly, Dr. Hartman's treatment center seemed unremarkable and its methods and purpose privately. However, Dr. Hartman was abusing his patients in order to utilize any latent blank abilities they may possess with the aim of shaping blank to his own benefit, which has earned him a class two prior criminal destination. No. For more on the link between artists and their ability to blank reality through autistic mediums, see file blank. Investigation has proven that Dr. Hartman's illegal endeavors were conducted alone. After being approached by the Bureau during the blank investigation, he displayed no remorse or intention to seize his action. Dr. Hartman was taken into custody, evaluated, and released blank months later, having been deemed a negligible threat. His medical license has been permanently Revoked. Refer to five seven one two eight five five seven for full report. Okay. There's a lot of uh things here. <laughs> Brian Hennerman, 21 years old, resident of Southern Texas. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I really don't understand why I'm here. You know what you did, Mr. Hennerman. I do? Tell me about Delivery Disaster. The movie? I don't... I mean, 
It wasn't very good. That's not what your review said, but we'll come back to that. Tell me where you got the movie from. Movie night. With a, you know, okay, not an end. Not, not night, like nighttime, but... Who contacted you? Who told you to go to that film? I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear. Okay, the kid doesn't know shit. I'm ending the session. <laughs> what did you expect? What the fuck happened? Door appearance in excursion into the ocean view motel and Cassandra discovered a previously unseen door in the lobby hallway hallway. This door fractured a spiral shaped mark in destination door blink. Similar to the other doors, it was locked and cannot be forced open. Alice Wake, a person of interest in the Blight Falls AWE, referred to AWE thirty five for details, and the former wife of Miss and uh, author Alan Wake, a suspected politician and blink. Contacted agents Shay and Dempsey of the investigation sector using the phone number given to her in 2010 in accordance with civilian outreach protocols. The call resulted in Mrs. Wake being brought into the oldest house for an in-person interview. For a full transcript, refer to file blank on blank. 2017. The excursion into the Ocean View Motel occurred later that same day. Conclusion: Determining whether this was a basic synchronous event, if Alice Wake is responsible for its appearance, or if the door itself relates to AWE 35 is paramount. Should be returned to the oldest house, possibly even taken into the motel itself to confirm if any other changes occur. Okay. I don't... I guess... I think that's it... Pretty sure that's it, really. Shit. Now what? What is that? Come on, elevator, time to go. Doctor So I can definitely hello hello power course. Just trying to look around and see if there's anything else. Ah. That jack is twitching like a... I don't know what...
papers, do data entry, that kind of stuff. Don't come down on me like this. I made one mistake. I mean, I see people break the rules all the time, and no one is pulling them into dark rooms to yell at them. Yesterday, Dave Gleason and his group were talking to that empty space suit and laughing their heads off. We're letting you off with a warning, Mr. Langston. But this is going on your record, so one more screw up and our next chat won't be so friendly. Great. That is just great to hear, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, is there any chance I could get my copy of the creator's dilemma back? Get out. <laughs> Get out. Where is he at? Can't touch me, man. <laughs> huh. Okay, so I'm guessing there's nothing else in here. I don't know what's up there yet. I need to light up the rest of this place. I know there was more light. I saw it. I don't like him laughing like that. Whoa. Hey, look, it's game. It's Shum and Shum 2. The Shum and the Shum 2. Oh, God. Find my next, uh, right ahead. it's over there. Oh, by the way, buddy, let there be light.
Get out of here. Oh, thank God. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Alright. Uh, let's see. Nothing else here. on top of these stupid crates. Alright. Cool, cool. Uh, I think that's where he went. <laughs> like screw that. All right, and then there's nothing else on these. All right, so I think I've pretty. I think I found everything in this room, I believe. So. That's good, that's good. Alright. So, let's, uh, go ahead and yeah, save it. And we shall end the episodes here. Uh, so we made a little bit more in progress into the investigation sector, so. Yeah. Finally facing a creature that we're probably gonna have to fight towards the at the very end or whatever. Uh, so that's gonna be fun uh, Yeah, wow Jeez it's crazy. It's crazy uh, so far. Uh, yeah it's, I don't really know what's going on in this place Yeah, we got so much to explore so much more knowledge to gain figure out what the heck's going on uh so yeah i guess uh with that we're just gonna yeah i'm just gonna end it and uh i guess we'll see you guys next time in the next episode thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more and remember fire fam we've got the fire <laughs>